It's the hottest dish in the streets. It's what everyone's talking about on Facebook. Twitters and Facebooks and all that stuff. It's time for Big Tigger's Trending Topics. Yeah, that's trending topics. On V103. All righty, ladies and gentlemen. Time for the Trending Topics. A lot going on with these blogs these days. And Benzino doesn't like it not one bit. Had an Instagram post where he came for a bunch of them. And particularly, the Jasmine brand, Sandra Rose, the Bossip Lady, as he called it, and Stephanie from Ball Alert. It says, now, like the women who started Black Lives Matter movement, they all have college degrees. I'm just a street kid from Boston who barely graduated high school, but these bloggers have no respect for black lives. They have used their education to defame, make fun of, and write negative, horrible things about black lives, and that's... And what's really worse is they only write bad stuff about the black lives of celebrities, athletes, actors, and any other relevant black person. How can you support the Black Lives Matter movement and support what these women represent? Saying you can't. A lot of people quick to point out that he didn't come for any of the dudes in the blogosphere. Just for ladies. Furthermore, Benzino went on to write, and some would say, well, bad press is still good press. BS, that doesn't apply to black people. We have enough negative stereotypes on us as it is. We don't need somebody just drooling and waiting for something bad to happen to us so they can tell the world. It's a really long post. I don't have time to read it all. He got it as a point, though. There are lots of blogs, and those in particular that he mentioned, that do highlight some of the good things. But I think most people would tend to go there just to find out what nonsense people did. Is that good? Is that bad? Up for debate. What's absolutely circulating throughout those blogs right now is the mugshot of his baby mama, Althea Hart. Mugshot release, not too bad to look at. You'll be able to see it at v-103.com. I hope if I get arrested, my eyes look like that. She look like she chicken. Chilling. Don't ask me. Um, sticking with the Black Lives Matter theme, Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre was arrested... Well, detained, well, handcuffed. Where? At his own house. How does that happen, Tigger? A man accused him of pointing a gun at him because he was blocking his driveway. Okay, so let's back up. Dre showed up at his house. Some strange man is blocking his driveway. Right? He told him to move. The guy started beefing with him. He simply moved his car nearby, he left, and he said the Dr. Dre recorded a cell phone video of him, which is prudent in these days and times. But he called the police and told them that Andre Young pulled a gun on him, brandished a firearm, resulting in a citation. He added that he went over there. It's called a citizen's arrest, even though you don't arrest him because you call the cops. So they came over, they handcuffed him, they searched him. No weapons found. He was released. Nothing else will happen unless the guy wants to take Dr. Dre to court. Why, though? Why would... Why? Why are you in his driveway? Why? I don't know. But the, the moral of the story is this could have turned out bad just simply because a man claimed that Dr. Dre was had a gun. What if they ran up on him like they run up on all of us black men? Who they might think they have a gun. We could be have hashtag Dr. Dre would be a very sad day in America. Please believe it. Just like all the rest of them are. They're all equally sad, okay? That's going to do it for the trending topics. No, I'm not going to say nothing. If you missed any part, head on over to vdash103.com. Where you can not only listen it to uh, in its entirety, you can also see my... No, I'm not going to say nothing face. More Big Ticket Show next on V103. <laughs> the People Station, V103.